Hello everyone, welcome to l o b e j o n Game Dev. I'm Harry Wan, an indie game developer. This is my first game dev tutorial. If you have any suggestions after watch this video, please don't hesitate to give me feedback. Today I'm gonna show you how to recreate the targeting arrow in Slate Spheres and Monster Train. It's a beautiful user interface can be used to select targeting your game. In this tutorial, you will learn how to achieve this arrow by scripting in Unity. The only thing we need is a better curve. Now let's do this. The better curves are widely used in computer graphics to model smooth curves. The quadratic and cubic better curves are most common. Here we're gonna use cubic better curve to achieve our targeting arrows. You could get the details about the better curve in Wikipedia. This is the formula of cubic bezier curve. In this formula, there are four control points P0 to P3. The range of T in this formula is 0 to 1. As T increases from 0 to 1, the curve departs from P0, then bends to arrive at P3 with the direction determined by P1 and P2. Usually, the curve will not pass through P1 or P2. These points are only there to provide directional information. In our demo, you can see the arrow curve starts from P0 and at P3. P0 is a fixed point at the arrow emitter point, and P3 will follow the mouse position. The position of P1 and P2 is dynamically determined by the start point and the end point. Here we use two factors multiply the vector from P0 to P3, then starts from P0 along the skewed vectors to get P1 and P2. Well, let's check the details in Unity project. In the demo scene, we have a canvas which has an empty game object named arrow emitter. The script will attach on this game object and the arrow will start from this point. There are two prefabs used for the arrow height and arrow node. We have a better arrow script which used to draw the arrow. There are four public members, the arrow height and the arrow node reference prefabs. The arrow node number determines the count of nodes inside the arrow. Each arrow node will multiply the skill factor to determine the arrow size. In private fields, the origin is the position of the arrow emitter. The element of the arrow nodes list is the transform of each arrow node. The control points list has four elements represents P0 to P3. The control point factors used to determine the position of P1 and P2. In the awake method, we get the arrow emitter's transform Instantiate the arrow nodes and arrow height and head them. Also need to initialize the list of four control points. In the update method, first we need to calculate the position of the four control points. P0 is at the arrow emitter point, P3 is at the mouse position, position of P1 and P2 is determined by the position of P0, P3 with the formula we mentioned before. Then we need to evaluate the position of each arrow node by the cubic bezier curve. T is calculated by the arrow nodes index divided the total nodes count. With T and the four control points, we could get the nodes position by curve formula. Now we get a smooth arrow, but its nodes are all up towards and have same size. For every node except the first one, let the node direction towards the vector from the last one to this one. Then we need that the first node have the same direction with the second one. For the node scale, just let the size increase from the first node to the arrow height. Finally, we get a cool targeting arrow. I would appreciate if you click like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much, see you next time.